Hi everyone. Today we're going to study variable separable method. Let's begin with variable separable form. If the differential equation dy over dx equals a function of x and y can be expressed in the form dy over dx equals f of x over g of y where f and g are continuous functions of a single variable. It is said to be of the form variables separable. Let's go now to variable separable method. We have two steps to find the general solution. Step 1, the given equation dy over dx equals f of x over g of y can be written by separating variables as f of x dx equals g of y dy. Step 2. Integrate on both sides and add an arbitrary constant of integration to any one of the two sides. Simply, we write the general solution is this. The integral of f of x dx equals the integral of g of y dy plus c. Example 1. Find the general solution of the differential equation by using variable separable method. This is our equation. dy over dx equals 2x plus 1 all over y. Let us separate variables as f of x dx equals g of y dy. If you do cross multiplication in our equation, it becomes y times dy equals the quantity 2x plus 1 dx. Next, we will integrate both sides. So we have this Integral of y dy equals the integral of the quantity 2x plus 1 dx. The result will be y squared over 2 on the left side equals integral of 2x is 2x squared over 2 plus integral of 1 is x. Then we add plus c. We can cancel this constant 2 and the denominator 2 we can rewrite this equation into y squared over 2 equals x squared plus x plus c. We can simplify further by removing the denominator in the y. We can multiply this equation by 2. So we have now the new equation y squared equals 2x squared plus 2x plus c. Take note that this number 2 when we multiply to the c, it will just be absorbed by the constant of integration. So we just simply write c in here. So we want to remove the power 2 for the y. We will take the square root of this equation. So we will have y equals the square root of the quantity 2x squared plus 2x plus c. This is now the final answer. Example 2, find the general solution of the differential equation by using variable separable method. We have cosine square x dy over dx equals y plus 3. Let us rearrange into the form f of y dy equals f of x dx. So we have here dy over y plus 3 equals 1 over the cosine square of x, then dx. We can simplify this 1 over cosine square dx using our identity. So we write this as secant square of x. Then we integrate both sides, and it becomes like this. Remember, on the left side, we have the substitution method in our study of calculus, so the integral of the left side will be the natural log 
of the absolute value of the quantity y plus 3 equals the integral of secant square x dx is tangent x then we add the plus c this is now the final answer example 3 find the general solution of the differential equation by using variable separable method of dy over dx equals y cosine x all over 1 plus 3 y cube given that y of 0 equals 1 this is an example of initial value problem so let us solve first let us rearrange into the form f of y dy equals f of x dx so it becomes the quantity 1 plus 3 y cubed times dy all over y equals the cosine x dx we can simplify the left side into like this the quantity 1 over y plus 3 y square times dy then the right side is same cosine x dx next is we integrate both sides so it becomes like this so the integral of 1 over y will be natural log of absolute value of y plus the integral of 3 y square is y cube equals the integral of cosine x dx is sine x then we add plus c we consider this equation now to be equation 1 now let's go to the given this y of 0 equals 1 it means that y equals 1 when x equals 0 from this we're going to substitute the values of x and y to get the value of c to this equation 1 so it becomes like this the natural log of 1 plus 1 cube equals sine of 0 plus c simplifying this ln of 1 is 0 plus the 1 cube is 1 equals sine 0 is 0 then plus c we can get the value of c now to be equal to 1 next thing to do is to substitute the value of c to our equation 1 so we have now this equation natural log of the absolute value of y plus y cube equals sine x plus 1 this is now the final answer i hope you learned something from this video see you again next time Thank you.